Hello. We're now in the halls of Minos. The fallen city of Gnosis? Gnosis? Not exactly how, not exactly sure how to say it. I think this is also a real city as well. Don't know where the eagle is, but let's see, where's the... I'll go to this Poseidon shrine. This is cool. of Minos. Wait, how can I get through that door? I guess I just blow it up. There's no way through. The volcano's fury has blocked the way. We will have to try our luck down this way. Is busy. Yes, I'll bring him out, though. Is this it? This is a storeroom, not a throne room, you oaf. And look, it's not empty. Hey, you trespass and understand? You won't be sorry you ever come in here. Trespassing. Yes. Well, there are only three guys. Okay. Put those barrels there. Bonnie in. Move up here. Do that. Well, uh, they do have mad epics for some reason. First strike three. Ooh! Rest in peace, swashbucklers. I kind of wish first strike three was more incentivized in PvE. The extra damage is really nice, but it's mainly used for uh, PvP to avoid uh, hidden enemies. Who does he charge? Oh my god. Wait. I should actually turn teleports off. Don't want any freaky friends to infiltrate on my parade. Haywire Strike him. Hopefully he'll land in the Haywire Strike as well. Or, er, um... Scatter Blast. Let's see. Move El Toro. I don't have Hold the Line. Um... Move El Toro way up there. And Rap Beard way up there. Nice. They have turned the tide too. Kinda wish it said when the turn the tide triggered, you know. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Ouch. Also, yeah, I think I said this before I'm recording, but it would be cool to have a companion of every type in the game. You know? Because if they're trying to, like, show off the animations, I think that would be that would be cool. It would be cool to have a companion of every of every type of enemy. that back there. Attack him. Knock him back. Oh yeah. El Toro's pretty badass. Yeah, the a long time ago they didn't even have those like debuff markers that just said um, like reduce dodge, and when when uh, when Bonnie Ann used her scatter blast, it would just say reduce dodge instead of actually anything like like the dodge and the down arrow. I don't really remember that, but I saw it in the uh, in this old video. Also, yeah, you used to actually fight Ratbeard. Instead of him just fleeing right away. It's kind of weird. There. We're done with those files. What do we got to hear, huh? Hey! Beat up my friends? You in trouble now? The noise drew more of them. Look out! Yes, Captain. What now? I am ready. Go for a counter musketeer setup. <laughs> Put the barrels up here. Doesn't have true grit, but return fire. Parting shot three, that's interesting. I feel like with an ability like parting shot, they should just get an additional rank of that when they're promoted. Um, yeah, same thing for a cheap shot. I've, I think I've posited this idea before, but... Imagine companions getting guaranteed epics just from a promotion that you don't you don't actually give them those epics You um, they just get those when they get promoted So let's say Bonnie Ann would just get double tap Ratbeard would get hold the line and then that way they have room for more epics I feel like that would significantly buff a majority of companions Or you know give buffs to people that they don't Necessarily need. Yes, indeed. Knock him back. Mind blast him. Return fire. Imagine. I think Duck grew more uh, more of a mustache. Yeah, poison. 
Or does that mean he can't move? That is the weakest block I've ever seen. What? Ranged stun? Three rounds? What the fuck? That ain't right. Okay, I don't think an enemy has used a stun before. I didn't even know those like existed in the game. Oh, get him. Oh my god. I hate these vultures. Oh, did I get stunned too? God damn it. Repel assault. Um. I'm gonna hit him with this. And Bonnie Ann heal me. Move up. Eagle bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, I can attack while stunning because I'm a badass. This guy's a damn cheater. Boom. Your limit for gold, pirate. You can't take any more until you spend some. Nibble a little, eh? Shut up, Boochbeard. I didn't ask you. Okay. Yeah, I should probably sell some shit, though. Or, uh, buy some shit. <laughs> Rather. What am I even gonna buy? Um, I guess I could buy, like, training points, but... <coughs> Might as well level up Duck. Yeah, because I could just buy 10 training points and exhaust all of my 250,000 gold. Yeah, let me, let me do that real quick. I mean, since I've been playing the whole game solo, I don't really understand people who need help all the time, you know? I mean, I get it. You know, Aquil is a struggle, but... Again, this, this ties back to the self-reliance video. It's like, fucking do it yourself. 69,000. That does look pretty cool. Imperial Mudhook. Is it cheaper to buy stuff in person than in the bazaar? I legitimately don't know. I'll just buy a bunch of training points. Well, not a bunch. Let's get, uh, your boy Wing Chun. Up to level 70, baby. You've been with me from the beginning, and now you're at maximum. Amazing. I don't think I'll, um, spend any more on them, though, because those are extremely expensive. 9900 for one? Yeah. I gotta save gold.
And I can, you know, just have the companions do uh, brawl in overnight. this This looks more promising. Ugh, it's crawling with scorpions. Nasty. Okay. Should I bomb? Or hit him with this. Oh, there's five? Jeez. I'll hit him with this. And can hit. You can do that. Do, 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 do. I think to improve the combat, they need to add more choice into it, because it is kind of lame that you spawn randomly, because it's... I don't like that Bonnie Ann is in front, you know? She needs to be defended. Unless she, you know, uses her stock assault right away, that's pretty badass. I think you should uh, be able to like choose where you spawn. Just an idea. Doesn't necessarily have to be implemented. these guys with bombs, and they'll get knocked back. Oh, leg. Are, I think swashbucklers are low will too. I don't know if they're low strength or low will. Amazing. Hit this guy with a knockback. Wing Chun. Let's see, he'll move up here. Cheap shot. Wing Chun doesn't dodge as reliably as somebody like El Toro, but he still dodges enough to warrant repose too, I think. I'm glad I gave him that. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that repost is actually that useless on like a buccaneer. Or um 
It wouldn't be that useless on somebody like Ratbeard because he dodges a crap ton. Beware, Captain. This place, she be dead, but not all buried. <sighs> Invaders, you shall never leave the halls of Menos. Of course, the fucking yum yum fruit had to go all the way over there before the battle. I don't have my AoEs or anything. That's just fucking amazing. Draw the Valor's armor right away. Um, might as well hit this asshole with a sniper buff. Move up. Um, move up here. Locked, really? Can't believe it says blocked when they dodge it. I kind of wish more uh, buccaneer enemies charged, make the game a little bit more interesting, but you know, more annoying, I guess. Okay, let's see. Oh, he can knock all of them back into the Tempest, I think. Yeah, that'd be amazing. And then... Wing Chun might as well... Chain on this guy. Bonnie can reduce. <laughs> the mechanics of this are getting wonky. Let's see. He's knocked back. Amazing. Okay, that was wild. Boom. I need burst fire too, man. Be sick. Get him. I think uh, stock assault needs a little bit of a buff too. It should do a little bit more damage. Or at least like... Maybe reduce accuracy or something like that. Or, uh, strength. I don't know. Or maybe stun. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah! Stock Assault should stun. That would really... Like, Bonnie Ann doesn't necessarily need a buff, but if Stock Assault stunned, it would actually be really useful. Because... That way she wouldn't get fucked if she missed on it. Or, um... If she, if she hit a Buccaneer who has Vengeance Strike with it, yeah, she wouldn't get fucked by that. Hit him. Can heal. Hit. Uh. Hit. Come on. Whee! Thank you. Come on, let's find our way out of this crumbling tomb. This way! Daisy. Daisy. Uh, I'll level up the True Grit one. Let's see. Is this for three energy? Ooh, lava. Manticores! Get them! And beware of their tails! Yes, Captain. Yes, my friend. Yeah. I think, I think manticores are supposed to be like a hybrid between a bat, a lion, and a scorpion. Pretty wacky creatures. Hit him with the big goons. 
Let's see. Hit these guys. Everybody buff. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, um... An El Toro for his... Um, for his guaranteed epic, it should be repost. I think that would make things really cool and interesting. Give everybody an extra epic, and it should be um, it should be repost for Wing Chun as well. Um. Ooh. Speaking of that. I wonder if their scorpion tail is actually poison. I have no idea what epics these guys have, but damn. Get him. We have relentless. Wow. Let's see. Do you need? Tied to, repose to, relentless to. Ooh, that's kind of dangerous. I think I should scatter shot them. Ratbeard, he should uh, move in and then hit this guy. El Toro, he can just focus on him. Wing Chun, might as well uh, hit that guy. At least I think it's supposed to be a lion, bat, and scorpion. Not exactly sure, but... Get him! I think that Catbeard is slightly better than Wing Chun at chaining, because I feel like Catbeard just criticals more. But Wing Chun also does critical a lot, so I think it's just random. And vibes-based, or experience-based. A dodgy boy. Okay. Dodgy. Dodgy boy. Doot doot. I'll hit this guy. He might as well hit him, actually. Nope. I gotta do that. Actually, El Toro should focus on him, yeah. I think I... I think I did the trap thing, right? Get him. Youch. Why are they attacking me? My, but my sunglasses are so cool. Why, why would you attack me? I think musketeers just draw a lot of aggro. Because they attack a lot of people at once, maybe. Okay, that guy has one health, my guy. Okay, my pet just spawned right there because this game hates me. 
could have moved my Wing Chun there, but... Um... I'll just hit him with the Tempest, because I don't even give a shit. Who's this asshole? The labyrinth is there. What are these Ophidians doing here? Deal with them. We are discovered. Strike. See that none escape. Yes, my friend. Okay. Who should I use? I think I'll just go for a standard team of big boys. Maybe El Toro. Also, I think there should be a feature to uh, manually select your companions every battle. Dun, dun. And with the big goons. Poop, pzzer, sin, sin. Ussy. <laughs> My name's Ussy. Ophidian Oph Ussy. I don't even know. I don't know if I should hit there. I'll just hit him there. Buff. Dot dot. Dot Okay. I, I also think um, maybe the epic pool should be made a bit more uh, interesting for all companions, or made, or I don't know what the word would be, inclusive. So like, every companion can get all epics, or all epics that they can. Also, yeah, something something that's pretty disappointing about the combat is there aren't I don't think there are any hybrid enemies. Like, there are hybrid pirates, right, that can use shooty and stabby or whatever. But there aren't any hybrid enemies. Hit him with Tempest. Or maybe I should hit him back. Yeah, might as well. Scattershot them. El Toro. Hold the line two. in through there. I think El Toro... No, he has to attack. He has to attack this Ophidian. As you wish. No, wait. Shit. Attacking the wrong guy. El Toro. ET doesn't have hold the line three. Got him. Musketeer should be pri Musketeer should be bay priority number one. Uh, I'll hit him with Tempest. Maybe I should hit these guys. Cause that way they, they can be knocked back into it. Attack this fellow. Then Yeah, Rapier to attack this guy. Or no, attack this guy. Maybe the musketeer. Yeah, musketeer would be better. And then he'll knock both of these guys back into 
torpedoes bombs. I think torpedoes actually has more damage potential when they uh, they get knocked into the bombs. Whoa. Wacky. Got him. Get reposted. You re you reposted in the wrong neighborhood. Oh, that's amazing. Also, I think uh, Bonnie Ann should be able to get a double tap from Stock Assault. I think that would be cool. Although Bonnie Ann is one of those companions that doesn't necessarily need any changes. But I feel like adding a little bit more usage to Stock Assault would be a lot better, because there are people who straight up don't even do her last promotion because the Stock Assault basically nerfs her into making it easier for her to get killed by Buccaneers. I'm going to hit the uh, Musketeer, I think. Either that. No, I should do this. Yeah. Double tap off of him. Strike him. Then move in to strike that musketeer. Nice. I like the look of that sword. That's the sword that you can get from the boss at the end of, um... Shit. Um... God, what's the... The Palace of Hysteric or whatever. The war is lost, but the eagles shall mourn their victory. After we smite you, we shall free the Minotaur, and Nova Aquila will fall! That's a terrible plan. You realize the Minotaur will kill you, too. So that's what they're up to. Ophidian fiends, your treachery will never succeed. El Duro is here! Oh yeah. The point of the Minotaur is that... they kill everything that moves. Job, Job was Ruse 3. Yeah, that's about it. Let's see. Witch Hunter? I think these these are the ones that just went Witch Hunter. I'm gonna hide. Move Bonnie up here. Well he he doesn't need he doesn't need this buff because that doesn't block any of this damage. So Ratty can move there. I think it would be kind of cool to change Ratbeard's um, Kraken's Lament or whatever it's called into like a, a unique version, like uh, Pirate's Protection or something. So it's like. It's like a Valor's it's like a Valor's Fortress, but instead it just lasts ten rounds and gives twenty-five percent protection against all damage. Um I can do this while I'm hidden. Let's see. We need to move them closer. Reduce their... Reduce their dodge. Move El Toro in. Might as well... Hit them. As long as you don't actually hit anything... While you're hidden... 
you're still hidden. So that's that that's what allows swashbucklers to uh, poison enemies while um, Yeah, there's a reason they got Jobu's Ruse 3. It's because their accuracy is like 100. And El Toro's dodge is like 180 or 180 or something crazy like that. Um God damn it. I should have expected them to do that. Um let's see. But now I think they're all grouped up for a Tempest. Which is good. In Nani. Nani. I don't really get anime, to be honest. Maybe you should have uh, switched classes instead of, you know, picking Witch Doctor so you don't, you know, miss every every shot. Well, that's kind of mean. It's King Zhao's fault that Witch Doctor can't hit anything. The main strength of the Witch Doctor Pirate is their abilities. They do make cool noises, though. I'm gonna heal myself, because I'm selfish. Make every uh, companion's epic pool universal. Like, could you imagine if Bonnie Ann got quick adjust? It'd be insane. Mind blast them. I love that. Haggis crisps. What even is that? Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. <laughs> okay, hold on. I already abandoned all my hope a long, long time ago. Hope is a sad thing. Old Bird Brain's key works just fine. The labyrinth must be down here. Bird Brain? Yeah. That accurately describes that fellow. It be near my captain. Dear be ancient evil down there. I and I feel it. Well, we're lucky to have you around, old Scratch. Hey. That must be Argos. He's holding the gate shut, just like the Oracle said. What's up? Who goes there? Argos, you old rogue, let me look at you. Hmm, what's this business with the doors? Some kind of isometric exercise? Wait a minute. Is that actually a type of exercise? I know there's a... Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's one where you're just like standing still or something like that, or just not even moving. No, you prancing gadfly! I'm trying to hold back. 
One of the deadliest forces in the spiral. Marco Pollo's map, I'll gladly give it to any friend of Catbeard's, but as you can see, I'm busy. I don't know if I'd exactly call Catbeard a friend, but you know. He's kind of a... a prisoner on my parole. The Minotaur is a terror. He trounced us easily. It took all of us to lure him back into the labyrinth. I had to shut my friends in there. Jesus. I'm all that holds the doom of Aquila at bay. The chain that held the doors is broken. There's another chain, but only I can unbind it. And I can't leave unless someone takes my place. Find Hercules, son of Zeus. He's the only one strong enough. He's the strongest hero in Aquila. Hmm. I heard Hercules was doing some task for the Emperor. Ask his majesty where to find him. Use the hidden passage there to leave and return. <coughs> Hurry! Okay. Hidden passage? What are you talking about? Where's Hercules? Go ask the Emperor how to find him. My back is killing me! <laughs> okay. Oh, hidden passage there. Okay. Cool. Gates of the Labyrinth. Cool. Wait, why don't I just, like, try and find this passage? Eh, whatever. I think the eagle is around here. Let's have a look. Well, there's a big eagle right there. But, um... Imperial Seneschal. What's this room? Oh boy. Movement speed is, is rough. Gotta be around here somewhere. Well, what's this? What's the point of all these locations? Coliseum. It's pretty cool. Dude, where's the eagle? I guess I have uh, time to find it. Okay. Um, since it's towards the end of the recording, I might as well battle these colossi. Ahoy! Finish out this quest. the battlefield so huge.
I think I might have to look up the eagle. Ratbeard's gonna move up there. I think I'll put this uh, Tempest here. And then Bonnie. I can hit this Colossus. No, there's a lower health one. Move El Toro. Move El Toro over here. No, over here. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Mole. Oh, dang. Um, might as well hit these guys with scatter shot. El Toro. I guess I could put the um, barrels there, and then have El Toro and Ratbeard fight this guy. That is an extremely cool death animation. I think still my favorite one is probably uh, the Skeletal Pirate. It's a gnarly death animation. Gets frozen. I think he suffocates and then he gets frozen and then he falls to pieces. That's probably one of the most violent death animations, but it's just for a Colossus. Um, actually, no. I think my favorite death animation is the uh, the one for the I don't know what you'd call them, but they're it's the um, it's the companion from that one Marleybone bundle. Well, only two, four. Jeez. Um, it's the death animation for a couple of enemies. I think a couple of enemies look like that, but... Um, the... Uh,
It's just like really sad. It's a sad death animation. Now move her up there. El Toro. Um, yeah, he's like, what happens to him? He dies, then he like tries to attack, but then like he uh, he kind of shakes and then tries to fire his gun and he it, like he fires it at the ground and then he falls over and then like a grenade explodes. It just seems like a really violent death. Um, and probably a death that was typical on the battlefield for, uh, for, like, pirates or soldiers like that. Get rid of that. Hit him with Tempest. Reduce. Hit this guy. Hit this guy. Super hit? Amazing. I, th I think my favorite is still the Skeletal Pirate. First part? Come on. Yes. Okay. Hopefully I can get two from this fight. Hit him with the knockback and into the trap. Then... No turn, might as well hit... that guy. And hopefully this will kill. Uh, no. Almost. Gotcha. Choked to death, too. That's crazy. Very nice. Okay, my life fountain is bound to Avery's court, so I'll just end the video here. I'll sail back to Nova Aquila, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.